and high-end military computer animation, some of which is being shown here for the first time. They analyze the extraordinary amount of destructive force caused by the impact of the planes. Once the airplanes hit and the way they hit and once the fires started, the collapses were inevitable. In order to understand what happened to the towers, engineers went back to the original design. The core of the buildings consisted of 47 column lines of traditional framed construction standard except for their extraordinary height 110 floors the perimeter tube was made of very closely spaced huge columns topping it off a massive roof truss connected to the core and perimeter tube of the building providing the key support to the completed structure this new animation shows something extraordinary when the first plane crashed into the North Tower, thousands of fragments knocked out support columns, but more importantly, stripped off their fireproofing. The airplane, once it enters the front face of the building, starts getting shredded, producing a flow of debris into the core region of uh, the building that is more than capable of scouring the fireproofing off of columns that survived the direct impact. The second plane hit the South Tower on a slightly different angle at a speed of 885 kilometers an hour. The animation is chilling. The plane disintegrates into deadly jagged projectiles causing more structural damage than in the North Tower. The main difference is that the airplane will impact the southeasterly corner of the tower. If you think in terms of a four-legged table, we now have an unstable uh, table. By taking out a key structural element, the South Tower would collapse first. Both planes were carrying more than 4,500 kilograms of fuel. Part of it was consumed by a huge fireball upon impact. The rest spread onto the floors and went down elevator shafts. And there was nothing to stop it. And a fire raged, but fireproofing remained uh, present at all times. There is a great likelihood that the towers would not have collapsed. Computer animation superimposed over real footage shows the South Tower's final seconds. Fires reaching temperatures up to 1,000 degrees centigrade, weakening the columns to the breaking point. The upper floors collapsing onto the floors below. What happens from there on, the top of the towers now starts collapsing. Gravity very quickly takes over and the contents of the building will start pancaking down. Some people have wondered whether the towers could have toppled sideways. For a tower of that height, it simply cannot happen. The effect of gravity is simply too strong. But you will get ejection of debris going out from the building and that potentially is an area of interest for emergency services that wanted to know looking into the future 
what is a safe stand back distance should they deem a building to be in danger of collapse. It's been years since the Twin Towers came down, but the forensic examination still goes on. Fire is a killer. We've got to engineer better buildings to give people more time to escape.